My name is Xavier and welcome to They Are Billions, my new favorite game, by which I mean, good God, I spent the entire weekend playing this and I can't wait to show it off to all of you if you haven't seen it yet. It's in early access, or actually technically it's not even in early access yet, but it will be on Steam in early access soon. Links in the description down below if you want to know more about it. But for right now, let's jump in here. I'm going to go through a quick tutorial, or I'm going to give you guys a tutorial. There is no tutorial for the game. Uh, and then I'm going to play some actual no-pause gameplay. My typical never-pausing-the-game ultimate challenge mode. Uh, I'm going to play all default settings here. Good God, when it says it's challenging, it actually means it. This is an XCOM 2 where legendary means full doofer. This is literally a challenging game. I've lost, I think, 19 or 20 or 21 consecutive attempts in a row. In fact, I haven't even gotten close to winning this game yet. And oh golly gee willikers, Batman. Do I love it. I love losing. Because every time I can start up and play again and hopefully get better. Also, what I love about this game, absolutely beautiful 4K steampunk style graphics. I just have to say... As someone uses a ginormous 4K monitor, indie games are almost always universally terrible. And even AAA titles like Total War and whatnot aren't that good with 4K scaling that are blurry. Like, they, some things don't scale properly. This game is perfect. It is perfect. It looks perfect. It runs perfect. It's incredible. I love it. Uh, it looks so good on my screen right now. I don't have to mess with the UI or anything like that. Uh, anyway, let's go through a quick tutorial. I did pause the game just to go through the tutorial. After that, I'm going to start playing and no pause. So bottom left, you see the mini-map, and then you see the timer down here, what day it is. Day 100 means we win if we can survive to that long. Uh, and then the next big box here is the info box, depending on what you like. have a building or a unit selected that shows you the kind of generic stats and whatnot. They're not that important right now. What is important, however, is the production or the uh, resource panel in the bottom right here. So you see colonists, we have workers, food, and energy. And colonists don't really matter, you don't need them for much, but the more you have, the more gold you produce. However, workers, food, and energy, you do need those to be able to build several things in the game. Like, you need workers to build uh, places where you work, uh, like sawmills or stone quarries or stuff like that. You need food to build places where people live, and you need energy to build, like, industrial things like that. Uh, after that, we have resources like gold, wood, stone, iron, and oil. Now, this seems overwhelming uh, at, at the start. The way the game works is you start out with wood, and then after quite a bit of a while, you'll upgrade into stone, gradually, and then you'll upgrade into iron stuff, gradually, and then presumably oil, I haven't gotten that far, I haven't even really done iron, I've kind of unlocked it and been like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, but in any event, that's the basic UI and overlay. The plan is we build up a base, we build some defenses, hordes of zombies come in every once in a while and try to obliterate us, uh, and by try, I mean do. Oh, one more thing really quick before I unpause and start the game. Uh, up here on all the buildings, you have two bars. The top bar is the hit points. The yellow is kind of like armor. When most build, actually when almost every building in the game, when the armor is penetrated by zombies, it then becomes infected and more zombies come out of it. So it basically spawns more zombies. If you have a chain of houses and zombies break into it, they spawn more zombies, break into the next house, spawn more zombies, break into the next house. It's a cascading effect. You got to protect your houses and buildings. Uh, at all costs, basically. Uh, however, the one exception to that rule is the command center here. Once the zombies break through the armor here, and once they break through the yellow part, boom, you're dead. Game over if they hit the green, just like that. Uh, also, the next bar is its just a timer, basically. Once it fills up every eight hours, we get the resource that that building produces. The, the command center produces gold based on number of colonists. Other buildings will produce like wood or stone or iron or whatever like that. Okay, so with all that being said, Let's start the gameplay. Bam! No more pause until I'm dead. Just like that. You guys move over there. I'm gonna grab you guys and put you on two. The two of you guys I'm gonna grab and put on three, and we'll put you over here on number one. So, let's go over there, let's go over there, let's go over here. I'm not building anything just yet. Oh, here we go. I wanna look around for choke points right now. I've already found one, and you know what? I'm fine with this. Let's, let's actually grab these guys and run up here and look in that direction. This guy run down here. Okay, we've got a huge horde here. A few extra resources I could pick up if I want to. Nice choke point here. Nice choke point there. Have you two come check out over here. Last night was amazing. Let's go check this up now. Check this up. This is perfect. This is a natural choke point. The trees cannot be destroyed. You can farm them, but they, they will prevent zombies from walking through them to the end of time. So that's good. I'm liking this map so far. We got a horde up there we've got to deal with. Let's go check down here. Oh, we got some guys over here as well. 
We looking good down here? Yes, we're looking like we got zombies up there. All right, well, I feel like I have a good idea of how I want to start out here. We'll look up a little bit more right there. Ooh, this is pretty good area, actually. All right, uh, let's start building. Number one, I'm going to build in some tents. Now, tents give you colonists, four colonists, and two workers for each one. I'm actually going to build these tents kind of out here in the gray dirt zone. There's a good reason for that. Uh, and it's because the grass zones you can later on build a farm in. And I don't particularly want to waste my grass zones on uh, huts when I could have them out here in the dirt zones. Because the grass is sort of rare sometimes, depending on the map. I will also say the maps in this game are highly variable. They are so wildly variable, they will make every game feel almost completely different. Uh, in fact, there's a couple of maps just based on luck. If you, uh, They're all random, it seems, but... If you happen to get like a zombie tower near your base, oh my god, I cannot win if that happens. They just crush you. Or they've crushed me every time. But, one more feature of the game, and this is every uh, every time you play, you can choose kind of a unique starting bonus for that campaign. They're all random, they're up against each other here. You pick one, and then that's just something you get for that campaign. Uh, next time it'll be totally different. So we can either get free research of spike traps, or stakes trap, or we can get command center energy supply plus 20. I can research the spike traps, no problem, or the stakes trap, whatever. Uh, it's not that hard to research, it's pretty cheap. So I'm instead gonna go for energy, which will be like a permanent plus 20 bonus to our pool. Oh God, Ooh, we just we just got the attention of a huge horde here. Oh God, now we're running through a huge horde down there. Let's come down here and post up right there. You guys come over here, awesome. Now I wanna, I wanna set up. Oh, what a colony! I want to set up all my people so that they're in decent places to scout so people won't come in or zombies won't come in and obliterate our base by mistake. Next up, I need food here. We're down to seven food and I need to build more houses, so I'm gonna go with fishing cottages. I'm gonna put one over here. There is a minimum distance between each building, or rather between each building of the same type, so I've got to come over here to be able to build a new one. That's why I put one here and one there, rather than maybe one here. This would have been a lot more food, potentially. Because this way I can get two of them put in here. Let's have a ranger come down here. Hold up this zone. That looks good. You can sit there killing off those guys. You guys kill off that horde up to the north and looking good. Next up, you can see here in the building overlay, I can only build in the gray, the highlighted tiles, but I can extend that by building a tower. Of course, the towers themselves are going to take one worker which only comes out of these tents. So we gotta, you can see how it works here. You build food to build tents, which give you workers, which you can then build towers, which expend your range so you can build more. And the game goes on and on and on like that. So as we are right now though, where do I want to put my first defensive barrier? I think down here, let's put uh, a tower over there to extend off to the left. And why don't we put another one up here to extend off to the Northwest. Let us additionally build a sawmill out here near this wood. Okay, we can get six wood there, or I can get... Eh, that's actually the best I can do, believe it or not. If I move out here, I get six, 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 eight. All right, let's put it right there. We'll have to go for the six. You move up a little bit and start kicking out those zombies. Okay, you're working on that. You're holding the lines down there. I think the two of you should move up a little bit and start taking these guys out that we attracted from that horde. And what's the next here? Probably more houses. I want to build a lot more houses out in this zone, like this. Oh, we just expanded our range. Can I build another fishing shack? Let's check that really quick. Build one right there. Perfect. 16. You guys move up. Let's move on back. And let's go for more houses. Well, you know what? I want to have my guys be able to run around. Looks like, actually, I've already blocked that by putting that house right there. So let's leave. I guess it, it doesn't make any sense to leave any space. Unfortunately, if someone wants to move over here, they'll have to come around, I suppose. And we can put some more houses like right here and right there. Awesome. And you know what? We'll do a couple more like there and there. Great. Uh, you two split up in case. No, we don't need to split up because this is all safe. So we can actually hold this front line up there. Awesome. Whoop. Fall back a little bit. Awesome. This is some iron on the ground. Here's some stone. Great. Let's go for that. That's a basic resource. We need to get 30 wood before we can do that. So what I'm thinking is this. Wood is like the number one resource. I want to get as much of it as possible. So why don't I build over here and build some more lumber mills near this forest is my idea. To do that, I'm going to need more wood to build another Tesla tower. So we're just going to have to wait for that to tick up. Every, uh, we get six wood every eight hours. It's going to be a little bit of a while here. A little bit of a while. You can kind of already see the game is really about maximum efficiency, like time efficiency. Making sure you're ahead of the curve, making sure your defenses are setting up well and not wasting as many resources as possible and just generally, like, 
I think a, a full win will take about three consecutive hours of non non-stop non-pause action. So if you pause a lot, good god, you'll be playing one campaign for like who knows how long. Whatever you say. At least three hours plus however long you pause. So yeah, they take quite a long time to get through. Which I feel is actually really awesome. Like, oh god, lots of people there. Fall back a little bit. Two is better than one. We might have meant to do a little bit of micromanagement here. Yep, let's, let's run you away. Awesome. We got both of them down. Actually, come back here. Shoot up there. You start running back now. And voila. Hit points of these characters will regenerate slowly over time. Last night was amazing. First time I heard that, I was like, what the hell? But then the 572nd time I heard it, I was like, eh. Whatever, she had a good she had a good night. I mean, you know, whatever. Some people have good nights. It's just how it works. Let's come over here and click on another tower. I want to get as close to this area as possible, and that's exactly what I'm going to do there with that tower. Meanwhile, what kind of defenses should I put up here? I'm not sure yet. I kind of want to go exploring a little bit more over here with this guy, but the, the, the risk of this, of course, is that if I'm gone and I can't see, someone comes in and starts killing everybody, and that's... that's... You can die really fast if you don't pay attention early in the game and you're not aware of what's going on. Let me just let me just put that it that I have some experience with this this phenomenon. Pretty soon here we're gonna start building walls and defenses and towers. There we go. We got this up. Uh, let's switch over now to. I feel like my mouse button's breaking. Honestly, I just got a brand new mouse and it's already breaking. <gasps> Thirteen wood. I have never seen a lumber mill so productive as that. That is fantastic. Okay. Yeah, I have been clicking a lot in this game the last couple of days. I wonder if it's, like, worn out my mouse switch already. It's like a four-day-old mouse. It's ridiculous. That or the game just seems to not register some clicks sometimes. Resources are energy E. I never remember what all these things are. I have to... Plus, they're all bound to incredibly dumb keys. Like, who the hell is going to take their hand off the keyboard to go press, like, M for a military? It's just... Might as well just click on it, you know? I wonder if there's the ability to keybind anything. Ye no, there is not. I you hope that there is one day. Again, pre-early access or pre uh, what is it called? Early release access. So there's a lot of features missing, but I will say the game is incredibly. I haven't had a crash once. At the end of a game, I've had a couple of crashes, but never during a game. Hmm. I'm trying to think of where I want to go here. I could uh, let's move both of you guys up here. And try to try to take these guys out. Okay, actually, let's not do that stupidly, because the person in the front there has no HP. There, that's much better. Okay, we're not gonna die. Awesome. We're gonna get close to it, though. I need to be very careful with those two. Very, very, very careful. Uh, back here at the base, though, what's the next step? I think the next step is a quarry. Let's put in a quarry. Here I get three stone, here I'll get four stone, here I'll get four. Can't seem to get more than four no matter where I go, so you know what? Let's just go here. It's as good as a place as any. We'll start getting some early stone reserves up and at them. Next, I feel like I definitely need to expand a little bit more here. Let's put uh, something down there, and we can build a wall right there to defend. I also am going to need another something up here to expand up into this area. Let's move our ranger up slightly and start working on some of these zombies. Wow, there's a lot of them up there. We're not going to get very far in into that, I don't think. We're just going to have to put some kind of de temporary defenses up here. And then last but not least, let's do one more one more tower as far up here as we can get. That looks pretty good. Awesome. Now, I think based on my resources, I have very few workers. I have 24 food and 26 energy. Let's get some more workers with tents. Let's put these a little farther away this time so that people can walk through the middle if we have to run them up there. We'll go there, though. We'll go here. We'll go here. And otherwise, I'm pretty happy with that. Looks like we've run out of resources. A quick look around to see looks like everybody's alive and perfectly fine. Yep, that is indeed correct. Oh, here we go again. Yeah. Is so Alright, can I put a wall right here? Yes, I can, and yes, I absolutely will. That's a lot of that's a lot of people coming in here. So let's switch back to military really quick. Let's put a gatehouse in. Oh, I can't put the gatehouse in because there's enemies that are too close to this location. We gotta kill these four zombies first. You guys alright? Yes, yes, yes. Great. Looking good. This is not a bad map to start on, it feels like. Not a bad map at all. You fall back a little bit so we take these guys out. And what else am I lacking here? Food. Well, what we can do about that is more fishing cottages. Uh, we can put one... E. that's pretty dicey to go all the way up there. 
I do want this wood, though, so let's do this. Let's, well, first of all, I'm going to need more power someday. I do have that 20 from the bonus, so I don't need it right now, though. Normally, this is about when I'd build a power plant, but I'm feeling like let's put this right here. Extend our Tesla coil out so we have full access to this forest. And then I kind of want full access to this forest over here, and I want to go see what's out in this location. What's up? But are you guys healed up enough? Whoa, 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 whoa. Be careful. Be careful. Don't be too stupid. They're going to run out this direction. Great. Let's switch back now to the gate like I was talking about before. I'm going to put a gate there, a gate here. Awesome. And let's put in wall, 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 Fantastic. Then we'll put up a tower right behind that. Give us a little bit of extra vision and defense. Fantastic. That's very nice. That blew through a ton of wood, but I'm working on expanding here so I can get more wood. I want to see... Hold on. You can take these guys out safe and sound, nice and slow. We got some resource crates out here I can grab, too. I found that these resource crates, they're not, you know, they're kind of like the Civ 5 goodie huts, but they're just, they're okay. They're almost not even worth the effort to go get them. They're so little resources. Oh, these guys up here with the suits, these guys have a lot more hit points. And there's several of them up there, so I need to be very careful about them. Yes, yeah, so you can see here he's breaking through the shield. When he breaks through that, that's going to spawn more zombies. There we go, we got one already. We need to fall back and work on this. This is actually kind of a big issue here. Have you come back up here quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Take him down. Thank you very much. Let's work on this. Awesome. Getting myself in a bit of a bind here. All three of you walk up. Take down this one guy. Looking good. And then all three of you move up here and take down these guys. Fantastic. Now, let's hit repair all here to start repairing this thing up. Until this gets repaired, I can't build off beyond it, so. And let's go, let's do this. Let's grab whoever has the most hit points. That's going to be you. You can go right there, right? Whoever has the lowest hit points, you you can come down here and hang out in that tower where you're super safe and the zombies will never get to you. And then you can come out here and start scouting a little bit more as before. Any more suit zombies? Yep, one right there, actually. I don't, I don't want to mess with that right now, to be honest. Zero food. Let's get back to the food production. So we can put some fishermen's cottages over here, it looks like. Uh, the closest we can get is right there. And looks like I can do another one here or one there. I might as well do one here because it's 13 instead of 12. Let's additionally put some hunter's cottages up now. Uh, let's say hunter's cottages give you more based on grassland and forest, but they give you a lot less if you're out here in the dirt. So I kind of want to just stick a hunter's cottage like right out here. Uh, we only get nine for that. That's pretty lame, but you know what? I'll go for it anyway. Let's put another one as close as we can get. That looks like another nine, okay? And I could probably stick one down here if I wanted to. Do I want to? Not really. Food 11 if I could have put one in there, but I didn't quite leave the room for that. I could put one here for eight, though. We'll do that and replenish out our food supplies. Power is looking like it's getting a little low at 16, so let's toss in a mill. I want to say a mill out here in that little cubby. That's a perfect place for it. Completely out in the safe spot. It may be time to get, get the two of you now that you healed up. And let's take down that suit zombie. Take him down, friends. Even the both of you on him, he's going to come up and hit at least once. Oh, here comes some runners as well. Looks like there's something dangerous up there that I want to watch out for. Nice, we took that down. Let's, let's swing back here. Let's work on defending this point now. Whoa, 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 don't go too far. All right, what kind of... Well, I can put just walls here. Which honestly wouldn't be bad. Let's do that. Let's do wall, wall, like that. Let's put up a tower then right here at uh, that corner there. Great. You can get up in there. Not the most defensible thing in the universe. How much wood do we have? 25. It's very important not to let this stuff get to the very max because then you're just wasting income. So if that's been happening so far, it's been because I'm screwing up and playing like a doofus. Let's try to put some walls in here. Like maybe this and that. And then we'll do wall, 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 wall. And I think we'll go straight back with the wall like this. Oh, I ran out of, I ran out of wood. All right. We are getting a ton of stone here, which I like a lot. It's going to be saved up for the next tier of, of resources when we get to it. While I'm at it, though, I can actually build another quarry up here and start getting some iron as well. But it's going to be a long time till I can use iron. Where, is it? Where did my person go? Oh, there they go. Once you put them in a tower, they get plus two range bonus. And then you can fit four people in each tower as well. Additional upgraded towers later have additional range bonuses, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like, why would you get a better range bonus or like a stone tower versus a wood one? Who knows, but you do. You do. And there we go. So we're, we got defenses here. We got uh, nothing here. Defenses there. Starting to get defenses down here. Let's build up a little bit more here. 
say wall, 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 great, and wall, 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 wall. And then I'll build, uh, when I get some time, I'll build a tower on down there. Now, people can shoot over the walls and through the wood and all that good stuff. So that's important to keep in mind. Even gunners, even these guys with just basic guns. Oh, this is too close to enemies. Yeah, you can't build, it looks like, about four tiles within an enemy. You gotta take them out so we can do that. So let's move outside barely. Take out some of these zombies. I'd feel a lot better about this being inside with a tower, to be honest. But it's all right. There we go. One more. One more. Walls cannot be so close. I don't know exactly what the problem is, but it's fine by me. Let's go inside now and just hang out there. Last but not least, let's put up a tower right in the corner to extend our range a little bit when we get the opportunity. And I'll move the guy out so I don't forget about him being behind there. All right, so far, so good. I'm liking this little base. It's not like, you know, the best base in the world. Oh, here's a suited guy as well, but it will work. I'm feeling like there's a lot of suited guys around. The next thing I want to do is build a soldier center. Let's put that in down here. This is plenty of good place for me, right? They are awesome. This will allow us... God, yeah, that's, that seems to be a bug. Like, I have all my sound settings uh, fixed up here. Let me see if I can find them. Options, sound. Yeah, I've messed with them a lot. Music's all the way down to 5 with global at 70, and it's still unbelievably loud. Interface is down to 30, and for the most part, it is at 30, except it seems like this building and the workshops don't respect the settings. Again, early access, though. Hopefully that gets fixed. But whenever I click on that building to build recruits, it's going to be super loud just for a little bit. Ooh, look how many zombies we get out there. I don't like that one bit. Let's put up uh, some defenses here. Let's kind of put... I'm going to say wall, wall, like this. Let's do, or gate, gate, rather. Wall. Awesome. I put all that stuff in, and then I'll stick a, uh, yeah, come come down here if you'd be so kind. This is a fine place. I'll stick another defensive thing right here in just a second. And then last but not least, I would love some more wood, and I have the ability here to farm up a bunch of wood. We get 12 wood there, 12 wood here. This is all great, but if I put that there, I won't be able to go through the door. Which is interesting. I have to move the tower now that I think about it. So I'm just going to put it here and hope I can put another one down here. It might be too close. But for right now, it's not enough resources regardless, so I can't even find out. Alright, we're done. You get up on the tower and defend from there. And then meanwhile, back here, let's build one more tower. Nope, no, no, no. Come back here. Nope, wrong button. Once again, over here, tower. I think we'll put it probably... You know what? Let's put it... Before I do this, actually, can I fit... A hunter's cottage right in there for 15 food, and then do this? I can. Much better. Much, 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 much better. I don't think I could have done that if that was in there. I, I could be wrong. I'm not like a complete master of this game yet. All right. What is next, though? We're good on food. We're good on energy. We got no workers. So what is next, actually, is I need to upgrade my shacks to the next tier, which means we need a wood workshop, which means we need 10 workers. If there's two workers per shack. So I need to build five shacks someplace. Where can I stick five shacks? Well, one, two, three, four, five. There you go. When that gets done, I'll have t ten workers, and I can use those to build up the next uh, workshop. And this thing up here is nearly done. It is done now. Let's come in here. Voila. So we get defenses just about everywhere except for over here. And in fact, if I wanted to, I could put some up right now. They wouldn't be, like, very good, though. I need to extend my range over here. Uh, maybe something like, you know what, can I put you down there? Awesome. I'm realizing I'm completely out of uh, space here. Warehouse. I could build a warehouse, but that takes eight workers by itself, and I can't really fit more. Warehouses increases your maximum capacity for a lot of different stuff, and simultaneously increases the production of a lot of stuff. Maybe I should build one? The only problem is it's, like, super hard to fit it in this tiny little base. I could put it here, which would work, but we're only sending the, the production of like a handful of things. That's not really what I want. Put it, put it out here. I could put it maybe here, which would actually be very good for warehouses. Oh, there we go. I hit both the sawmills. You know what? For once, I actually am going to do this. Let's put in a warehouse. Now I need to build four more tents to get enough workers to, to build the upgrading. Upgrading building. So, why don't we start putting these guys maybe way down here someplace? If I can fit them out there. Yep, looks like I can. One, two, three. 
Okay, I can't quite put them there for some reason, but I can put a couple more. Actually, before I do that, let's, let's try to put in some fishermen's cottages. There we go. We got 13 food. There's another 12, or I could go for 13 right there. Awesome. Now that those are in, let's put in some tents right along the wall here. One, two, three, four. That should be enough. Or do I need 10? I think I used eight. When these are done, yeah, I'll have enough. I will have enough. Let's come back. I got tons of wood, so you know what? Let's just blow, like, crazy amounts of wood. Let's make some walls here. Something like this and that. And I'll indeed do something like this, that. Great. And then we can even do tons of walls like this. Oh, can I not put one in there? Oh, zombie swarm to the south. Our first horde is approaching, friends. Our first horde is approaching. Well, first thing we need to do is figure out where the south is. It's probably down over here. That being the case, let's set a rally point right there for this troop column, and let's build up one, two, three, four, five. Each one of these new rangers is going to require a whole bunch of workers. Uh, one each. So we're now down to six. I need eight to build the next thing. So let's put up one more tent, wherever the heck I can find a place to stick one in. You know what? Here it looks fine to me. Uh, is this going to be enough defenses, honestly? Probably, maybe not, depending... Okay, we can see down here the horde has spawned. And it's... I'm not sure if it's going to the right, like it's going to show up over here, or if it's coming over there. Either way, I kind of want another tower. I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, yeah, they're coming up from the right. I think they're going to hit up this wall up there, then. Do I... I don't really need another tower. Honestly, we can just stand behind. Yeah, they're definitely coming up to the right, so... Let's get everybody up over here and set the rally point right there. Is there anyone I can pull back right now? No, everyone's pretty much occupied and busy where they are. Let's hit the repair button to repair everything globally. I feel like I'm losing track of a few things here right now under the pressure. Uh, wood workshop, I need to indeed build another tent for that. So I could put that right there. That'll work just fine. It'll work just fine. Great, that's enough. Now, please tell me we're gonna be able to handle this, this horde with just these four guys. We can see that it's actually... Are they coming up from a different direction? To, yeah, they're coming up to the left now, all right? All of you guys, let's uh, abort and come over here. Great. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. They're coming in from that direction. No one's really coming in from here, and let's pull back with one person there then. And let's switch this rally point again over here. Yep, here they come, guys. Here they come. Horde number one is incoming. Get ready. It shouldn't be that bad, though. Shouldn't be that bad. Everyone come up here. Get ready. Shoot. Go for it, friends. Go for it. Lay into that little zombie horde. They're breaking down our walls as best as they can. They're trying to smash through the gates. Look at how lo loser doofers these guys are. Just a bunch of little doofers. Oh, here comes some wall. Yep, they're through the first tier. Our gates at, like, half health. They're working on that. Looks like they are going to get it down. And maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, but it looks like some guys are joining in on the fray, hearing all the ruckus and noise. Nope, they got through the gate, no problem. Here comes another reinforcement from the spawn. Voila! Horde number one is uh, no more. However, a lot of these guys are coming over because of all the noise, so we need to stay there. How are we doing up here? I pulled away, but the walls are fine. No one's beating them up. Over here, we have one person shooting walls. Over here, we have actually nobody. I need to get someone back here right away. Maybe even two people to fill in because there's going to be a bunch of people breaking these walls by the time we get over there. All right, not so bad. Let's hit repair on everything. Uh, let's get to work here putting in the gates or putting back the gates. Wonderful. Put the wall back in there. They didn't break down too much. They broke some stuff, but not too much, I don't think. And let's indeed grab someone and send them back up here. Awesome. We're looking good all around. Good all around. One thing I would like to do, though, if I could, is build another tower like right there. Awesome. And now every single location has a tower. Perfect. Perfect. Did you guys clear up all out here? Yes. Or one more time, hit the button here. Or you can just hit X to repair all buildings. You can see that all these walls took a little damage. They're getting repaired right now. Now, back to the base. We've got 100 wood. I need to start using this wood before we lose it. Use it before you lose it, as they say. So, wood workshop. Where can I put this? Where it's out of the way and it's not going to consume too much grassland. Unfortunately, unfortunately, God, it's hard to breathe right now. Can I put it here? No. Can I put it here? Yes, but that's a nice grassland I could put a farm in later. I'd rather put this someplace out of the way. Let's put it down here, I suppose. Where I don't think it's going to matter that much. Awesome. And we'll repair up. This gives us exactly zero workers. But once this gets done, we can upgrade to the next tier of buildings. And something I'm realizing right now, well, bloody hell. Can I put just two more tents someplace to get a couple more workers? 
It'll become evident in a second why I want to do that. Yes, I can. Right there. Bam. That's two more. Four more workers. I want another quarry right here to start getting iron. Even though we're not even touching stone yet. Why not? Why not get it done earlier rather than later, right? Or alternatively, I was going to say another sawmill, but we're actually doing pretty good on wood right now, believe it or not. I mean, if you guys have never seen this game before, I'm sure you'd believe it. But for me, I'm usually out of wood. 100% of all games, all times. Tent completed, tent completed, wonderful. Uh, that means I can indeed build my either quarry. Oh, I need energy. We ran ourselves completely out of energy. Let's go for a mill. Uh, where do I want to put it? I just want to stick it like out in the middle of nowhere. And you know what? Maybe right here because we can't put another sawmill there anyway. Wonderful. Well, I'm thinking of it. We're at 54 food. I was going to say I could put a couple of uh, hunter's cottages up on these forests. We'd get a lot of wood from those. Or a lot of food, rather, from them. Can we get you in that tower right there? Awesome. Yes, we can. And any second now, we're going to be good. I have one extra person. No. Yeah, just one extra person down there. I could come out a little bit and start shooting these zombies. I mean, eventually you got to clear out some zombies and push into new areas. I really want to push over here. Let's, you know what? Let's get this person up there into this tower and I can remember to push that way. But for now, our wood workshop is complete. And I want to go directly for, I believe, cottages to get me some workers. That's my big issue right now. I need workers and I probably need a little bit more energy in the future. So let's see what we can do for energy here. Well, yeah, I need more workers. I basically just need workers like crazy. And that's just going to require food. It's going to require energy. We have enough energy to probably upgrade all of our shacks. I think it takes three, one energy for a tent, three energy for a cabin, a wood cabin, which we'll be able to do once I'm done this research. So with that being the case, how many of these do I have? 29. So that means I actually need 60 energy to upgrade all of them. Meaning, believe it or not, I'm going to need another mill. And I can't quite afford the workers for this right now, unless I want to build a couple more tents someplace. Eh, I, I'm kind of feeling like I'm cramped here. Kind of feeling cramped. I don't want to cramp in on the bases or on the walls because I want to build towers there a little bit later. Uh, yeah, again, I don't want to cramp in there. I don't want to use this because I want to build a farm there pretty soon. This could work, but seems a little... Okay, right there, actually. Oh, no, I can't... I thought I could build one. The building must have free access. Okay. Well... I could have built it before, but then once I built that thing, I couldn't build it anymore, so. I guess I could put one more right there, and that's it. And I can probably still... Nah, I don't like that. Nah, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I was going to tear it out, but I'm going to leave it. All right, we got our research. Let's devote some of our 3,000 gold now to, let's say, farms to get some food. And then we'll go for probably steak traps. Uh, you know what, actually, let's cancel that and go for steak traps first. I got plenty of gold, but my foot, my wood is just sitting here rotting, not even being used at all. Uh, now, since we've done that research, let's click on these things. And you can see here we can upgrade to cottages, which give us four colonists and... F no, eight colonists and four workers versus four and two from the previous. But they do take more energy and more food all around. So I can double click on these and I can probably upgrade a ton of them. Yep, we went from 31 to 23. We blew through pretty much all of our wood. There we go, I can just build another one. And wood is now our primary issue. Not surprising because we need a ton of wood to upgrade all of these things. Okay. Well, while this is happening, can I build another sawmill over here? Yes, I can if I wanted to, but then we're really cramped. I can put another another one here, but then we couldn't even walk by to get in there. And I can't put one here. It's too close to that one. So as much as I could do this, I'm not sure it's a smart idea. I want to build some better defenses there soon. What I do want, though, is a quarry as soon as we get 28 wood. I want to start building the iron. Yep, there it is. We got it. Let's put it uh, three iron, four iron. Perfect right there. Let's go for that. Start working on that, and then simultaneously upgrade all of these things as often and as frequently as we can. Good. Good, 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 good. Very good. Can I clear this out, do you guys think? Uh, maybe if I built a couple more guys, right? Set the rally down there, and let's build up a whole bunch more. I just need a couple more wood, actually. Each one of these takes two wood for their bow, apparently. There we go. We got five queued up. We'll have a nice little army we can roam out there with and start clearing things. Maybe. Maybe Waby. We'll see. And I definitely food and power are my next two big concerns. I need another mill someplace for the power. Getting getting kind of cramped in here. I need to expand 
But where? I want to know what, what's over here. Is this a nice little alcove I can use? What's down here? I don't know. There's too many zombies. This is a big open area, it seems like. So is this. Um, hmm, this is really tough. Why don't I decide this way, right? Have we built the farm yet? No. Let's research the farm. I wish I could just fit another mill. I already have one up here, so I can't put one there. I could put one in here, but that's like really, really cutting into what our defense is. Can I stick one? No, I already got one down there. That's unfortunate. I could put one right here, though. That'll work. All right. Although I might need this place for a market now that I think about it. Would a market even fit there without blocking us? I th think it would. Yeah. One, two, three. Like one, two, three, like right there. That's probably the good place for the market. Can I, can I build it out here then? No. Bloody hell. I'm, I'm spending too much, too long on this. Let's grab some of these guys and upgrade. Now, actually, food has become our number one issue. So we have to hope we get this uh, farm done very soon. Or maybe we can find a few hunting cottages we can hunt in here, right? Like, we can do 13 food here, sure. Here's another 14. What about down in this little cubby? I think I already got one there. I got one here. Awesome, yep. And I think I've got all I can fit down here. Yep, that's true. And here comes our farms in three, two, one. Click. Fantastic. Next upgrade. Let's go for a market. I definitely want farms. This is going to be four energy and we don't have any energy. Okay, I have to find a place to put this mill. No more screwing around with mill. Mm. Where the heck do I want to put this mill? Didn't I just say I wasn't going to screw around with this anymore? You know what? Let's stick the mill... That's got to be a farm. Let's, let's stick the mill down here. I can always tear it out later if I have to. Great. Meanwhile, you guys, you got like a nice little army up here. Let's move out. Let's get the show on the road. Let's bring another person with you if you want. Okay, awesomely, they ran inside here instead of actually being useful. So let's come out that direction. All right, one of you go back up. The other one come out here. Great. Yeah, all of you come down here and start clearing this out, all this nonsense out. You get up here in the tower to help out. Awesome. Once this middle is done, I can build up the farm. Should it, should, if, I, if I had been building more efficiently, I would have had uh, all this stuff done before, but... It's Trixie playing efficiently. Let's put just massive amounts of spikes out here. Because I have tons of wood anyway, right? Why not blow it on stuff like this? Get some defenses going here. I'm not really going to go out there so we can have every single door out there lined. Same deal here. Line these things. I and mean, we just blew through 100 wood. That's very good. Market just became available. Can you guys move up a little bit? Oh, these are the, the, the suit guys. What are they actually called? Infected executive. As opposed to whatever the rest of these guys are. Infected fresh or whatever. Oh, there's another one. There's a lot of zombies down there. But I'm not worrying about it. We'll be fine. So, farm. I can either put one right here and get 50 food. I could put one down here and get 50 as well. So you know what? Let's put one there, I think. And we'll leave the other one alone for now. Awesome. You guys start moving up. I would love to start getting stone, if at all possible. Have I done my next research yet? Yes, I have. Let's go immediately for... Well, I don't have any room to build the stone workshop. Maybe instead I should go for snipers. Get a few snipers here and there. Those guys hit like absolute trucks. And they have very good range, but they're kind of slow and they don't fire all that fast. But they'll like one-shot that guy like right there. Just boom, dead. But they're kind of away shooting these little losers down here. All right, I gotta, I gotta find a way to expand. That's what's holding me back right now. You guys move up, start clearing that out. Can I leave you alone? Can I leave you alone? Will you guys be safe? You're already getting meleeed, Heater. I, I don't think so. Let's fall back. All right, farm complete. We got tons of food, tons of wood, tons of gold. Bam! Let's upgrade. There we go. Now we're gonna get tons of workers from upgrading all these houses and additionally more colonists to give us more gold. What is out here, guys? Why are there... There's another freaking suit. There's another suit guy. Two more suit guys out there. Ah, ah, they're hitting me. They're hitting me hard. I don't like it one bit. 
I feel like I have to abandon over here. We're, this is just not going to work out for us. There just seems to be too many things in that direction. Maybe what I can do is put a wall up here and like a wall up here or something. Let's quickly, um... I don't need the stone, but you know what? I can grab that wood and I can probably grab that iron. Uh, I grabbed the stone by mistake anyway, even though I didn't need it and I was filled up on it. Alright, let's try going a different direction because that one, we're just not making any progress. It's just not happening. Uh, secondly, let's simultaneously think about expanding our radius here. Nah, I think we're alright. I just wanted- Oh, I lost one of my civilians, or one of my archers not paying attention. Let's put some walls in here. Or, uh, some traps rather near our walls. Yes, very nice. And you guys move out a little bit. Since I have tons of people now... Let's make some soldiers, shall we? I'll make five of them. I got pl Oh, boy! Guys, come back, come back, come back, come back. Yep, just lost another one. Where the heck can I expand to? There's too many zombies. Get inside the wall. I lost another one. Let's do this. This is not how you play this game. Where the heck can I expand to? Up here, we got zombies running through the spike traps into single people attacking our walls. Uh, over here, we got zombies everywhere. Uh, I'm... I don't know what to, what to say about all this or where I can go. It's... Hmm. It's gonna be an issue for sure. Alright, let's grab all the rest of the huts here and see if we can upgrade them. Yeah, we're working on it. We're low on gold, we're low on wood. Our stone is filled, but you know what? We don't really need it until we get to the next phase. However, I really need to grow someplace right now. If I don't grow someplace right now... Can I go out here, maybe? Try a different direction? Maybe down here? You know what? Let's try down here. We'll try down here. Switch that rally point over there. Grab these soldiers, move them over there. Awesome. Oh! Zombie swarm detected near the colony from the west of all things. Okay. Just tell me what to do. Well, if that's the case, let's come down here to repair everything. Let's start building up as many tra- oh, we don't have any traps that I can put down here. Let's fix that up right now by putting up a Tesla coil someplace like here. If I could fit one, like, yeah, like right there to expand into all that range so I can build more uh, defenses there. Let's start thinking now about uh, more towers. More towers, just in case they do make it through. They could make it through this time. We got a tower over there, a tower over there, fantastic. Let's do another tower like right there, great. Another tower over there, fantastic. And then maybe another one like right up here, awesome. Towers all around the town, friends. All around the towns. The zombie horde, I can see them off to the west. Well, all of you guys, we're gonna need you to move for sure over here someplace. I'm thinking they're gonna come to the south or the north. I think the south, actually. I can't tell just yet. I wanna make sure I'm cranking out guys, but at the same time, let's start researching uh, Great Ballista. And you guys, set your uh, set your rally waypoint over here and have you guys come over here. Awesome. Yeah, they are coming to the south, it looks like. So, all of you guys come down here and let's get ready. Let's get ready. Let's also simultaneously, if I have any more gold or wood, which I don't, can I build any more traps? Well, in four hours, I'll get more gold. That's going to be too late. Anything up here I can grab? Yeah, I can grab one of these people and bring them down here and that's all I can do. All right, guys, get in here. Get in the tower. Let's go to town. Let's go to town. We're not prepared this time, friends. We are not prepared. There's a lot of these guys. I feel like I'm going to need more. Let's bring everybody back from over here. Fantastic. Are you building up like the maniacs? Yes, you are. Move up here. Start shooting. Awesome. Shoot like the wind, friends. They're about to break through here. They're about to break through. Look at how many of these guys there are. Shoot them down. We're not prepared. We're not prepared. They're, they're trying to break through our walls, though. That's the only saving grace. Okay, they broke through this thing over here, spawning more zombies. We're getting wrecked in all directions right now. Several people are dying. I'm okay with that, actually. I'm okay with it. Let's build some more. Should have been building more the whole time. Oh, no. No, no, no. Don't break into this. Don't break into that. Don't break into that. Oh, bloody hell. There it goes my research. And they started spawning a whole bunch more zombies now that they broke into it. What a bad game! I'm not, 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 that bad, not that this game is bad. The game is amazing. What a bad game I played of it, rather. Yeah, yep, and just like I said, they're going from house to house spawning more and more zombies. I can't believe I played so poorly! No! Alright, I've lost. 100%. No way to come back from this. Yeah, I just got a little too caught up there. One thing I really needed to do was have... Oh, look, there's even, enough, there's even like a giant horde coming from over here. Oddly enough, at the same time. Wow. What I really needed to do there was have more defenses in terms of um, spike traps, like over here. 
If I had that, I would have been okay. Maybe that ballista, I was nearly done researching. Had I built one, I even saved a space to put it. That would have worked out as well. Should have had a ballista at really each defensive location. The other thing is, I don't know what to do with this map. Because I need to expand somewhere to build more stuff. Especially the stone upgrades. But... There's no there's no good good choke points on this map. But you know, that's how it works in this game. You, sometimes you don't get the choke points you want. You just don't get them. And you gotta work around it. And I didn't work around it none. No, I didn't. 24 days for a colony. Well, on the plus note, this is a good 45 minute introduction. I'm gonna make some more episodes tomorrow uh, for the rest of the week. I'm gonna try to do a much longer campaign. Let's actually try to get a victory. And hopefully that'll be much interesting to see like the stone phase and the next phase. What is it? Iron or whatever. I would love to get into the end game. I would absolutely love to do it. For now, though, this has been there. What the heck is the name of this game? There be zombies? No, they are billions. Billions. God, it's so many things I could have done better there. So many things, but not pausing and trying to also show off the game at the same time takes a little bit of an effort. Um, but you know what? I've worked around in other games. I'll work it around in this one, too. And when's we returning, there'll be a victory for me and for you. Actually, probably not. There'll probably be about 75 defeats, but then there'll be a victory. Uh, until then, uh, actually, this is the first episode of the series, so if you liked it, hit the like button or whatnot. And if you want to see more, to let me know in the comments down below. I do plan on doing, like, one at least attempt and hopefully it's like a like a two or three part attempt like maybe two hours or so maybe a victory or not uh, i don't know and then there's a bunch of new different maps you can do here as well if i were to come in here uh, once you succeed at various factors you can unlock all these things desolated wasteland frozen highlands of peaceful lowlands these all sound cool game duration you could yeah right oh wait it's actually brutal 80 days interesting okay and then medium population, high population. Are you kidding me? How is that a medium population? Anyway, lots of options here. Uh, but for now, uh, that is all. This has been They Are Billions. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. And they started spawning a whole bunch more of zombies now that they broke into it. What a bad game. I'm not, 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 that bad, not that this game is bad. The game is amazing. What a bad game I played of it, rather. Yeah. <laughs> Yup, and just like I said, they're going from house to house, spawning more and more zombies. I can't believe I played so poorly! No!